Today's top priority, trying to beat the heat. Water world, just one of the places where people are trying to stay cool. We almost reached triple digits today, tying the record high at 99. Well, you know, the heat didn't keep people away from Civic Center Eats downtown, but the shade was a very popular side dish as people looked for any relief they could find. Our Tori Mason live right now. And Tori, Colorado kids are learning at an early age, they too have to be very careful in these scorching temperatures. Definitely, Jim. If you think it's hot outside, try touching some of the stuff on this playground. A surface that's 140 degrees can cause second degree burns in seconds. Denver Fire's uh, heat gun found many surfaces that were much hotter than that. I got such a shock from like the heat. I was like, wait. <laughs> They're not pretending the ground is hot lava. My fingers are red. Because on a day like this, the heat is no game. Let's see what we have down here on just this rubber plastic. 100, 160 degrees. What you're feeling outside isn't close to what these little ones feel on the playground. Their hands would probably recognize it far quicker than you or I because of the calluses on our hands. Water and sunscreen won't protect them from the triple digit temperatures they can touch. The equipment that our kids are going to be playing on needs to be kind of checked first. The swings are really hot. Denver Fire showed them just how heated things can get. 151 degrees. Those swings could cause second degree burns. It might appear as a sunburn initially. They might appear, appear just as if it's red skin. These girls were smart enough not to take their chances. <laughs> they had to get creative to keep the fun going. They're afraid they'll get burned by the, how hot the slide is. Next time, they'll find a playground in the shade because energy like this can't fit indoors. It is beautiful, but it's just very hot. Now, you saw that those rubber floors in the playground were 160 degrees. The, the sidewalks and asphalt can also get very hot, too. So it's really important that kids are wearing shoes when they go outside. And if it's too hot for human feet, then it's definitely too hot for your dog's paws. Try to walk them in the grass if necessary. We're live in Denver. Tori Mason covering Colorado first. Thanks, Tori. We